In OpenRose Designer, we have the ability to display annotations for profiles uh, that get cut during our drawing production. So if we cut profile sheets and we assign specific profile annotation groups, uh, that profile annotation can display a vast majority of annotations, whether it be on elements that are displayed, uh, annotating our existing and proposed elevations. Along the lines of annotating those elevations, it displays along the bottom axis of our profile. And in order to control those options for how that's getting annotated, we have to go in and make the change to the annotation group. Uh, but it needs to be done per the element that you're annotating. For example, for our existing elevations, that existing elevation is going to be coming from a terrain model. And so that terrain has a feature definition assigned. That feature definition calls a feature symbology, which calls a profile annotation group. And that is going to control the options for when you are displaying your annotation. Same with your proposed elevations. Your proposed elevations along your bottom grid of your profile are going to be coming from the feature definition that's assigned to your geometry and your profile for that geometry. So that's going to call different annotations. So where we may have that annotation group stored inside of this DGN file. So if I come into my standards, I look in my file, look at my annotation groups, and for my linear, I have profile annotation. And so this option here is going to be controlling the annotation of elements that have this profile group assigned to it, this profile annotation group assigned to it. But remember what I said is it has to be pulled from each element. And the reason we're doing that is because you want to have a universal setting you don't want to come into this design file and have your annotation display a certain way because this annotation group has certain settings for our strip grade annotation. But in another project, you open that same, you know, you could be opening the same geometry um, in that DGN file. So your geometry is referenced in. You have a different DGN file and you have different settings. So they're going to display differently. And we don't want that. We want to make sure that we have control of how that element gets annotated. So instead of necessarily making the change here, now it can be made here if those elements are stored in this file. What I'm going to show is I have a container file. I have my geometry referenced in and I have my terrain model referenced in. So I have to go to each of those DGN files to make the change to this profile strip grade annotation and adjust my, uh, my station interval for how that's going to get annotated. So let's d just go ahead and create a profile and I'll show how it's pulling and you know we'll kind of show the default settings on how my annotation groups are showing. And then we'll go and we'll make a change. Okay, so they're going to open up a profile model. So I'm going to go into pr drawing production, go to my name boundaries. I already have a profile name boundary created. So I'm going to go into my profile groups. And I'm just going to display one of these. Uh, so we'll just create a profile drawing. And then for my annotation group, I'm going to be using the profile grid. So you see all we're being able to do here is this is the annotation for the profile itself that it's creating. So I'm going to say OK on that. And we'll let it process and create my profile sheet. OK, so once that profile sheet gets created, we'll zoom in here and we can see we have annotations along our bottom. Uh, I've gone in and added some prefixes so we know what's getting annotated uh, for these different options. So we have existing Z is coming from our terrain model. And then we have station in reference is coming from the profile annotation. So let's go in and we'll just look at these two specifically. So we know that my existing Z is coming from my terrain model. So let's go and look at that terrain model. I'm going to go into my, my attachments. Let's go back to my default model first. And since I'm talking about the terrain, we'll go into the default 3D model. 
we'll look at our reference attachments and the file that we have is it is terrain existing dgn so we're going to keep that in mind and then for our geometry we'll go back to our 2d and we have geometry dgn okay so those are our two files that we're concerned with okay so we're going to first look at our terrain existing and we'll make a change to our existing terrain uh, profile annotation group so I'm going to swap over to that terrain existing DGN file okay so here is uh, I've opened up that terrain existing terrain DGN but I'm going to go into my terrain model and then I have existing boundaries existing terrain uh, and I want to see the feature definition that is assigned to this terrain so it is the existing boundary so we're going to look in our standards we're going to drill down into the file feature definitions terrain existing existing boundary so this is the feature definition assigned I want to look at the feature symbology so the surface feature symbology is existing boundary so we'll go look at that feature symbologies surface terrain and then existing boundary and then this one is displaying for the profile annotation group is existing strip grades so we'll go into our annotation groups go into profile linear existing strip grades so this is where we're gonna make our change so this is the annotation group that the terrain model is using when it displays the annotation for this terrain referenced into another file okay so this is loading up okay so for this annotation group profile existing strip grade annotation and if I look at my stations I'm just going to change this value uh, let's say instead of every 50 feet for the existing I just want to display it every 100 feet so I'm going to accept that new value and close out of my manage annotations okay and then I'm going to just save settings and I'm going to exit this file and then I'm going to open up the geometry DGN file inside of open rose designer okay so I've done that and so now we're talking about our geometry um, so for London Road I want to look at this element and you, you see that the feature is the uh, feature definition is geom baseline okay so we're going to go into our standards and I'm going to look at feature definitions so I'm just going to do the same thing as I did before I'm just going to look at geom baseline okay for the alignment the profile feature symbology is geom baseline so we're going to go into our feature symbologies profile alignment geom baseline and then our annotation group comes from profile annotation okay so this profile annotation annotation group is actually in our working file in our container file but it's a different annotation group because it's coming from this specific file that contains this geometry okay so I'm gonna go into the annotation groups under profile linear profile annotation and then we're gonna make a change to this annotation group so we can see the difference that it makes when we do that annotation okay so we're gonna look at the same profile strip grade annotation and then we're gonna make a change and edit the value for our station so for our stations let's say we want to see our existing every 20 or, I'm sorry our proposed every 25 feet so I'm gonna make that change and we'll close out of the manage annotations I'm gonna save this file okay so I'm gonna save settings and then I'm going to close out of this file and open up my uh, my container file okay so now that this is loaded back up we are back in our container file there have been changes that have been made to our annotations from those other files and so we need to create a new profile drawing uh, to create a new drawing model and a new sheet model and that way it can pull those annotations 
uh, from those files and use those annotations. So I'm going to open up my drawing production and then we're just going to create a new profile. So we will create profile drawing. Okay, we're going to select our drawing seed and say OK. And we'll let that create our new drawing in our new sheet model. Okay, so now we can zoom in and notice how, uh, remember, for our existing elevations, we set that to display in from that terrain model in that terrain DGN, that annotation group, every 100 feet. So our existing Z is at 6,900, and again, it's 7,000, 7,100, so that's displaying every 100 feet. And for our proposed elevations for our proposed strip grade elevations from our geom baseline uh, is coming every 25 so those are those modifications that we made so uh, just as a quick review when you want to annotate uh, your profile you want to annotate specific information that comes from a geometry or comes from a terrain that modification needs to come from the design file that contains that element whether it be the terrain model or the geometry you need to go to that DGN file make that change to the profile annotation group uh, and then that will be carried forward when you create your profile drawings and profile sheets